Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode on the AI Guide where we make AI human. So, there's an article that just came out related to edge computing. So what is edge computing? Well, most of the applications we use these days, particularly in corporate environments, are cloud applications that all the computing is done at a remote data center with huge computing capacity. AI fits that exact description, but certain existing applications, not AI, the computing is done locally at the location where the application is being used, like a factory, and they call that edge computing. By the way, I, I hate that they come up with all these acronyms in the tech industry. They try to copy the military to make it look like, you know, us ordinary people can't understand what they're talking about. I am not a fan. Anyway, they call it edge computing, which is local computing versus cloud computing. So this article says edge AI, the wait is almost over. Data centers are the ideal environment for facilitating much of what AI has to offer. And yet over the past decade, AI has steadily pushed at the boundaries of the cloud computing environment in a bid to infiltrate the realm beyond. The edge of the network where users have immediate interaction with the devices that do not necessarily rely on the cloud for computation has been touted as something of the promised land for AI where inclusion of accurate and somewhat autonomous AI devices linked by Wi-Fi would enable a true Internet of Things. So you guys know there's a lot of talk about IoT, Internet of Things, meaning smart appliances, smart vehicles, smart apps on your phone, etc. Smart sensors. Instead, AI has slowly trickled into certain household devices and consumer electronic goods with other applications yet to realize the full impact of what AI has promised. So hat tip to ID TechX, the production rollout of technology being developed by a number of AI chip startups targeting edge AI applications. We'll see AI at the edge continue to grow substantially over the next 10 years but not at exponential growth. And there's two reasons for that. The first reason is saturation and start-stop nature of certain markets that have already employed AI architectures in their incumbent local chipset, smartphones. And the second being where rigorous testing is necessary prior to high volume rollout of AI hardware. Under the first category, the key example is the smartphone market which has started to saturate. I mean, who's gonna buy an $1,100 smartphone brand new every year? It uh, doesn't make sense to me personally. The second category of rigorous testing, flagship automotive grade system on chips for advanced driver assistance systems. And we're talking about the companies Renesas, Qualcomm, and Mobileye are all planned to hit automotive manufacturers 2024, 2025 production lines. So that means by next September of 2024, when the new models come out. These systems allow for a minimum driving automation level, level three, allowing for situational automation where driver input is not necessary in certain situations. Further scaling of technology after rigorous testing will allow further checkpoints in driving automation to be reached with the adoption of increasing automation to occur in stages. So that's a long-winded way of saying that over relatively small amounts of time, the levels of autonomy will increase on vehicles with these chipsets brand new chip sets starting next year. The types of chips that are employed at the edge will in the main be simpler than those handled within data centers due to power constraints on edge devices. It's only a matter of time before even the simplest AI functions such as hand-free activation and actioning 
comes as an added feature to a range of devices, particularly within the home. So this is your home Jarvis. They're talking about coming relatively soon, only a matter of time. The key drivers for revenue growth and edge AI chips over the forecast period will be deployment within key industry ver verticals, consumer electronics, factory automation, and automotive autonomy. So we can see from this that the AI revolution has been a little bit limited by not having this edge AI computing capability. We also see that that problem is being addressed soon. 12 months from now, these chips start to roll out into cars and probably about the same amount of time they will be rolling out into home appliances so that you can do everything by voice. Alexa, vacuum, vacuum the house. Alexa, order groceries and your refrigerator will be AI enabled and know exactly what you have used and what you need to order. Create, automatically create your grocery list and send it to Stop and Shop. So this is big stuff and all of the enabling technologies are falling into place now to allow the AI explosion so that you see it everywhere. By the way, these edge AI chips will enable robotic service in restaurant, robotic service in other places, etc. So lots going to change very, very soon, as we've been saying here, very consistently on the AI guide. From 2025 to 2030, the world is going to fundamentally change in that short five-year period. It's going to happen. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. Very important. Nearing 1,000 subscribers really need your help for full monetization. And finally, click that resource. You're all going to have to use AI at your work, no matter what kind of work you do. White collar, blue collar, service, manufacturing, doesn't matter. You got to learn to interface with AI. So click the link below and learn more about AI. You'll be ahead of everyone else. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. Bye.